transit Neptune in Pisces opposite natal Venus in Virgo. You may be prone to unrealistic attitudes regarding finances at this time. You can be vulnerable to financial deceptions, scam artists, and get-rich-quick schemes. Laziness, financial extravagance and sentimentality can obscure sound business sense. You may be prone to unrealistic romantic fantasizing and love sickness. You can be drawn into a fascinating but deceptive and potentially scandalous affair. Your tendency is to passively imagine that everything will work out in the end. It's a good time to become sensitive to the goals and realistic needs of both yourself and the others around you. You can be too idealistic when it comes to helping others whom you consider to be less fortunate. Be careful not to allow others to lean on you to the extent that they deplete you mentally and spiritually. Unrealistic expectations from both yourself and those who appeal to your sympathy can lead to martyrdom. You may help with analyzing other people's problems but they must help themselves. During this period there is a possibility to be deceived and be taken advantage of. Love relationships are the main causes of difficulties while transiting Neptune is in opposition to your natal Venus. Someone may have an unrealistic expectation. Disillusionment and disappointment usually occur when the romantic fog clears and you can see the truth. It's normal to idealize a new lover, to an extent. But during this transit, you're much more likely to refuse to see reality. You escape to a bubble of illusions and fantasies that have little basis in reality. You create an image in your imagination and pretend that person fits into it. If you begin a new relationship during this transit, you should wait until you see more clearly, after this transit passes, to make a permanent commitment. You may be idealizing it too much at the moment. Later, you'll be able to see if the relationship feels the same after the dreamy romantic fog has cleared away. What seems like a golden opportunity can change into a harsh reality, and you cannot assume that the relationship can survive such changes. Or you may have to sacrifice too much in order to maintain the relationship. This period can cloud your mind and bring problems in an existing relationship, too. You may not communicate clearly during this time. One of you may keep a secret from the other, and this can cause one or both of you to lose trust. Be honest and put your cards on the table from the beginning, because confusion or misunderstandings now can cause deep wounds. If you can manage to use this creative imagination in a positive way as it is intended, and maintain reality at the same time, you can benefit now. Your artistic nature is increased. Your relationships will be more interesting, if you see the truth and do not lose contact with reality. Love and private life. Anything is possible for you now when it comes to love. You greet the world with such sensuality that it takes very little stimulus to excite you. This makes it easy for you to fall in love, but love may come and go again. You cannot hold on to it and perhaps you do not even care to. It is also just as possible that you suffer from a lack of love. You have an immense, perhaps even insatiable, yearning because you idealize love. If you are dreaming of heavenly love, earthly love can only be half as beautiful as you imagine. If you are in an established relationship, you maintain your ideals of love and prefer to overlook anything that could be negative. You believe in a love that may not even exist because you cannot stand the thought that you could be wrong about it. People sometimes do not want to see the truth quite so clearly. Relationships are not always what you hope for during this phase of life. But hope is such a lovely feeling that you would rather keep on dreaming a bit longer. If you resonate with this reading, don't forget to subscribe.